with that in the next part for our school tutorials. What we're going to be doing in this part then, as we're just going to be working on terrace, what we're going to be doing, so we're just going to be placing out five rooms in total, so that's going to be three rooms upstairs and two rooms downstairs. Uh, what we are going to do to start off this part then is just want to come to the back left hand corner room, uh, where we're just going to start by filling in all of the spaces in between all of our bricks, again using your bricks for this. Then after this, because it is a bit dark in here, what we are just going to do is add our lights. Uh, so what you want to do is come to the corner and you want to count one block out to start with. And then you want to count another three more blocks on the right and on the fourth block. Uh, what you want to do is place a three redstone lamps and that's going to be our first set of three lights. Then after this, as I mentioned, we should get another two more lots of lights. Uh, so what you want to do is leave a four block space between each set of lights. Uh, but once you've done that, just making sure to add your levers on the bottom as well. Then around all of our lights, what we are just going to add is our quartz slabs. Then after this what we are just going to add at the front of the room is going to be our blackboard. Uh, so what you want to do is come to the corner hand, you just want to count two blocks in. Uh, so you just want to leave a two block space on either side where you just want to place your wind stairs upside down across the bottom. And then on top you just want to place a free high of your black wall. The next thing we're going to be doing is just add our desk for our teacher and for this what you want to do is leave a one block space on the right of our window, our way you want to place an upside down court stair and on the right of that uh, just three court slabs and then behind the last one just one more court slab. Then behind our desk for our chair, what we're going to use is a court stair. On top of our desk, what we're going to add is two fence posts with paint in front. On some platforms then, to actually place the paint on the front of two fence posts, uh, you do actually need to place a block behind to start with. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do it like this for this tutorial, even though it does actually work on the Xbox, but again, it doesn't work on some platforms. And there you go, that's teach desk added. What we are just going to add now in front of this is just our students desk. So what you want to do is leave a one block space in front of where our teach desk is. And here we're just going to start off by placing up four fence posts with a one block space between each of them. And then after that you can just place your white carp on top and your court stairs behind for the first row. So that's his first row done. Now what we are going to do now, leaving a one block space behind this, uh, we're just going to add a second lot of seat in. So again you just want to place up four fence posts and then on top of these just your white carpet and behind that your court stairs.
And they got all this first room done. Now, what we are going to do on the back right hand room now, I just wish we can do exactly the same, so just mirroring what we've done this side, on the opposite side. Uh, so what we're going to start off by doing the same as we've done this room then, you just want to fill in all the spaces between all of your bricks for this room. Then same as before, wish can add our lights, what you want to do is come to the corner, I uh, wish we want to count four blocks out to begin with and just one block in front uh, for the first row of lights. Then after that, same as before, I uh, just want to leave a four block space every time, we wish can add another two more lots of lights. Once you've done that, then you can just go ahead and power on all of your lights using your levers. Then around all of our lights, we're just going to add our quartz slabs. So next thing we're going to be doing once you've done that is we're just going to be placing our blackboard at the front. Uh, so what you want to do is leave a two block space on either side of the bottom and then just place a row of wooden stairs upside down across the bottom row. And then on top you just want to place three rows of black wall. And there you go, oh, that's our blackboard added. Uh, in front of this now, as we did before, we're just going to add a desk for our teacher. Uh, so what you want to do is place an upside down court stair facing the wall, then on the left of that you just want to place out three court slabs and behind the last one, uh, just one more court slab. Now just to add our chair for our teacher and again we're just going to use a court stair for this. Then on top of the desk again, you just want to add two fence posts with a painting in front. Then same as before, to finish off this room, uh, we should need to add our two rows of desks. Just come in uh, one row in front of where our teacher's desk is, which one add your first row of seats, and then behind that, again just leaving a one block space, which one add the second row. That's the first lot of seats added, and now just add the second lot. And there you go, well, that's this room finished off. What we are going to do now is work on the centre room then, and then we can work on our downstairs two rooms to finish off this part. Uh, so what we are going to do to start off this part, same as what we've done for every room then, in between all of our brick rows that we've got a space, what you want to do is fill them all in with your bricks. After this then, we're just going to be adding our lights and it's going to be slightly different this time. Uh, so what you want to do is just come to the corner again, uh, but this time 
are just coming out one block diagonal where I'm just going to be placing four rows of lights in total and for all of our lights then they are going to be four wide so just starting off by placing the first row of four and again you just want to leave a four block space between each row so we've just got three more lights to place after this row. After this then you can go ahead and power them all on, uh, again using your levers but what you want to do is place them on the outside block on either side for all of the four rows. Then around all of our lights, same as what we've done for the other rooms, I just want to add your quartz slabs. As you might have guessed, the next thing we're going to be doing is working on our teacher's desk. I uh, just come to the front of here, we just want to place an upside down quartz stair facing into the wall. Then after that, you just want to place uh, three quartz slabs and one more quartz slab behind the last one. And after this, just add our chair, which is going to be a court stair again, and on top of the desk, two fence posts with a painting in front of that. So because we're going to be using this room as a computer room, it is going to be slightly different. Uh, so we are going to be adding uh, six desks in total, but as you can see in the image, what's on the desk and the desk is going to be slightly different to what we've done previously. Uh, so what you want to do for the first two then, I uh, just want to count uh, two blocks back from where our teacher's desk is, and on the third block, you should want to place an upside down court stair facing into the wall, with two slabs next to that for the first one. Now just mirroring what we've done this side on the opposite side for our second desk and then we can place another two more rows of exactly the same thing. That's the first row done and as I mentioned now you just want to leave a free block space between each row of desks. So same as our teacher's desk now, what you want to add behind it, all of the desks, it's just a court stair for your chair. But next then on top of all of the desks, what we can add on the centre block, is going to be a fence post in front of that, just not in frame with an apple in. And then on the right of that, you want to add a lever. Now 
That's the first test done, and now we're just doing it for the remaining five. After this, to finish up this room, what you want to do is come to the back of the room. We're just leaving a one block space on either side to start with. I just want to place out five bookshelves across the bottom row. Then on the outside block on either side, you just want to extend them up by another two more blocks. And then you can just extend across the top row. Then to finish off the whole of this room, I just want to add your slabs on top of all of your bookshelves. And there you go, well that's this room done, uh, so what we have got left to finish off this part then, uh, so we're just going to be doing the downstairs two rooms, these are going to be the same design as the outside two up here. Uh, but what you want to do to start off then, you just want to come to the back left one, and as you might have guessed, you want to fill in all of the spaces in between your bricks with your bricks again. That's all of that bit done, and next then we're just going to add our three lots of lights. So again, these are all going to be three blocks wide this time, and what you want to do is just come to the corner where you just want to count up four blocks out and one block in front. We just want to place your three redstone lamps to start with. And now just to add our lever on the centre block of all of the rows and we can show to power it on. Once you've done that, shun your slabs around all of the lights. Then after this, just come into the front, which would leave a two block space on either side again. Uh, it's just placing your wind stairs upside down with three rows of black wool on top. After this, then we're just going to be adding our teach desk, so I expect you already know the pattern we're going to be using. Uh, but what you want to do is place the upside down court stair facing into the wall. Then on the right of that, just three uh, court slabs. And behind the last one, just one more court slab behind that. Then behind our desk, just a court stair for our chair. And on top of the desk, two fence posts with a painting in front of that. And lastly then to finish off this room we just need to add two rows of desks. So same as before then you just want to use a wooden fence post and on top of that just using your white carpet and behind them just add your court stairs. 
and again we're just going to place uh, four desks for each row and again you just want to add two rows And there you go, all that's this room done. Now, what we are going to be doing now is coming across the last room we're going to be working on for this episode. And then in the next part, what we can do is work on the remaining rooms for our interior. Uh, but start off this room, as you might have guessed what you want to do, just fill in all of the spaces in between all of your brick rows. Then we're just going to be adding our lights, so what we are going to be doing is adding 3 rows in total, and for each one you just want to make them 3 blocks wide. And now we're just powering all of our lights and then we can just add our court slabs around all the lights as well. And as I mentioned, just add your quartz slabs around the lights again. After this, just add our blackboard at the front, so again just leaving a two block space on either side, as just placing your wind stairs on the bottom row and the three rows of black wall on top. Then after that, we're just going to place our teacher desk again, so what you want to do is come to the middle block between our two windows. I uh, wish we want to place an upside down court stair facing inwards, uh, followed by three slabs, and again one more behind the last one. Now just place our chair and also the monitors on the desk. And the last thing to finish off this part then, just leaving a one block space in front of our desk, we're just going to add uh, two rows of seats. So again, just using the same design of a wooden fence post with a white carpet block on top and also a court stair behind. That's the first row added, and now to finish off this part, uh, you just need to place uh, one more row of desks behind that. And there you go, well, that was the last thing we're going to be doing for this part. Uh, if you did enjoy it, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. And also, if you have actually built up to this point, uh, what you want to do is actually tweet me an image of it. 
Uh, so if you haven't made any changes inside or outside, make sure to show me yourself to see if you do anything different for the last couple of rooms we're going to be doing inside. But again, I hope you enjoyed.